just like your family's car or truck, the F-16 Fighting Falcon needs constant maintenance and repairs. Most maintenance on the F-16 can be performed with the engine installed in the jet, but for certain major maintenance, the entire engine must be removed. Uh, basically what happened was engine shop found a bad hydraulic line. They weren't able to repair the hydraulic line with the motor installed in the aircraft, so we had to pull the motor out so they could get access to the hydraulic line and replace it. Before the crew can take the engine out of the airframe, the jet has to be disarmed. Airmen carefully remove each weapon from the F-16's wings so maintenance can be performed safely. Once the weapons were removed, maintainers started separating the engine from the airframe. It took over an hour to separate the engine from the airframe, and then the crew slowly and carefully pulled the engine from the aircraft. When you get towards the very back, because the motor weighs so much and puts such a burden on the airframe, as you start pulling it out, the airframe will settle up. And when you get close to the end, right before you come off the aircraft, you want to make sure you're sitting nice and level so that the motor doesn't settle down or up as it comes out of the aircraft, or vice versa with the aircraft jumping up or down when you pull it out. With the engine safely removed, the hydraulic line will be replaced, and the maintainers will continue repairing and maintaining the other F-16s in the squadron. Senior Airman Anthony Hetledge, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan.